Hey everybody, what's up? Jeffrey Way here. Uh, sorry for being a bit MIA last week, at least with the quick tips. Uh, I had a bit of a crisis on my hands that I had to deal with. Anyhow, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Internet Explorer on the Mac. So I was asked the other day when I uploaded a screenshot to Twitter, I believe, uh, what this IE icon is doing down here. How am I able to run Internet Explorer? And it's by using something called Wine. So for example, if we open it up, uh, you know, it's not pretty at all. So let's go in here and but, and it's really slow, but it works. So rather than having to use something like a screenshot like browsershots.org or having to find a, a PC to test your designs in, uh, you can use Wine and this actually creates a wrapper for a PC app. So it's not going to work for all apps, uh, but it's going to work for probably in our case, the Internet Explorers that we do need it to uh, work with. So that's what I'm going to show you how to work with today. It's very simple, requires no coding at all. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at Wine Bottler. So you're going to visit winebottler.cronenberg.org and go ahead and download. It's in beta, but go ahead and download that. And it's going to download two tools to uh, your applications folder. And one's going to be called Wine, and the other is going to be called Wine Bottler. So simply, you're going to open that up. Let's give it just a moment. And luckily, they offer uh, some predefined prefixes. So think of prefixes as actual uh, popular Windows apps. So you might remember Winamp. Uh, I use that all the time in the 90s. But here, they also have IE 6, 7, and 8 available. So it's really just a matter of clicking Internet Explorer 7. We can do a silent install to make it quicker. And uh, click Install, and that's really all there is to it. You specify what you want the name to be. It'll automatically apply the, uh, in this case, the IE icon. And you know, it, it, it's not too quick. It can either take a few minutes or anywhere up to maybe 20 minutes, depending upon the app. Uh, I think on my computer, IE7 took around five to 10 minutes. Anyways, and that's really as simple as it is. In this way, you can run Internet Explorer on your Mac anywhere. And as soon as that's finishing, I'm not gonna put you through the process of watching that, but as soon as it's finishing, you're gonna have this app right here. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So you click on it. Like I said, it's a little slow, but no big deal here. Get just a minute to load up. And like I said, it's, it's really sloppy looking, but gets the job done for your browser testing. Uh, you can do IE6, 7, and 8. So it's a cool little tip to have. If you want the full skinny on working with Wine Bottler uh, to install apps, check out our sister site, mac.appstorm.net. Uh, they have a great article that I will link to on running any apps with Wine Bottler, so be sure to check that out. Okay, I'm Jeffrey Way. Be sure to visit NetTuts for more tips and tutorials. Thanks. Bye.